although we have made huge progress with science and with physics, there are still a lot of things we don't understand. We don't have that t-shirt yet with equations <laughs> of everything. For example, we have we can make a t-shirt with Einstein's theory of gravity, and you can make another which describes all big things really excellently. And you can make another t-shirt with equations of quantum mechanics, which describe the subatomic world really great. But those two t-shirts don't get along. There is another t-shirt that nobody has figured out exactly what should be on it yet. Maybe it's string theory, maybe something else. Yeah. Um, so some humility is in order. Yep. But it's quite striking how much progress we've made, you know, 400 years ago. Yes. Like when Galileo famously said that our universe is a grand book written in the language of mathematics. Yes. The, almost the only thing you could do with math then was predict the physics of motion. Yes. If you know, Galileo could predict that if you throw a hazelnut and a grape, they would both move in this shape called a parabola, mm -hmm. y equals x squared, yep. simple math shape, right? Mm -hmm. But Galileo would have no idea why the grape was green and the hazelnut was brown, why the grape was soft and the hazelnut was hard. Yes. Then Maxwell came with other equations for light and stuff that explained colors. And then we got quantum mechanics, which explain why some things are hard and others are soft. And if you look now, we've actually gradually managed to describe almost, we've gone from describing almost nothing except motion with math to describing almost everything with math. What mainly remains are some issues about what's happening inside of black holes, what happened yes. uh, very, very long ago and around the time of our Big Bang, the ultimate yes. future of our universe. And most flagrantly, what's actually happening in our heads. Yeah, yeah. The, the science of intelligence has taken off quite a bit with AI, but we certainly have a long way to go. And the most spectacular failure, I feel, so far is our ability to just write down an actual scientific theory of consciousness. Yeah. Of, yeah. Of why is it that we have these subjective experiences of colors and sounds and so on, rather than just feel like zombies. We go through the motions, but it doesn't feel like anything to be us. And I th some people dismiss this as just silly, pointless philosophy. I see it differently. I feel that we are just being lame and making excuses for not actually solving this science problem. I think both consciousness and intelligence are all about information processing. And, and, and um, mm -hmm. so it, I don't think it matters ultimately whether the information is processed by carbon atoms inside of neurons inside of brains or by silicon atoms in our technology. Yep. But I, I, what I do think matters is that there is some kind, some other equations which tell you which kinds of information processing are conscious and which aren't. Mm. And we just haven't discovered them. Yeah, yeah. And, and we should.